today we are going to read another uh, or answer another reader question if you don't know what I'm talking about um, this is a feature that I feature here on my author tube channel where readers send in their questions um, and I answer them so I'm going to um, link below you'll see the link where you can also ask a reader question and I welcome it because um, I love uh, being close with my readers and I love answering your questions but first off I want to give a shout out to um, reader Claire O'Bara uh, she was uh, she sent me a message saying that if I filmed landscape then people would be able to view it on a wide screen instead of vertical. I didn't know that. I'm not a professional. It's just through my cell phone. So Claire, I am actually filming on landscape today. So I hope it's working out. And I like have to look at the, the um, camera over here. So instead of looking over my, myself or anything going on behind me, the camera's over here. So I hope that I'm filming this correctly. Um, so thank you. If anyone else has any awesome tips, I'll take them because I am not... A videographer I am a writer so anyways um the first our question today is from Marie Thomas Marie asks how long does it take you to write a book well Marie so um we um talked about uh, my ghostly southern mystery series which um was published through Harper Collins and Harper Collins is a huge publisher um, in New York and they only required that I wrote 50,000 words so in book form that would be somewhere around 273 pages so I figured if it's good enough for Harper Collins who's like a major book publisher um, like To Kill a Mockingbird book publisher all those awesome books um, that it's also good enough for my self-published stuff. So I write about 50,000 words a book. And if you have heard me talk about anything, my writing process is I write anywhere daily from three to 5,000 words. I don't write on Sundays. Sundays, um, I'm a Christian and I believe that um, being with my family is important for that day as well as going to church. And it's something that I grew up with. It's something that um, my kids grew up with and I still honor even though they aren't living in the home anymore since I'm empty nest, but Eddie and I do and we enjoy each other's company. So if you take the um, total numbers, uh, 50,000 by the days I work, which are the six days a week, every morning I get up and that's the first thing I do. I um, First thing I do when I sit down at my desk is write my words. I turn off my cell phone, I turn off all my computer stuff, except I have any sort of notebook that I need, um, which might be something like this. Um, and then here is some notes about uh, what I've been working on. Um, and um, any other kind of tools that I need to write. Uh, and I get those done. I do what's called writing sprints. So I will set a timer for five minutes for a warm up, and then um, I record how many um, words I wrote in that five minutes. And then if I feel like I'm warmed up, then I'll do a 10 minute sprint. And then I also record those words. And then I um, amp it up to 30 minute sprints. And it usually takes me about two to three hours to get 3,000 to 5,000 words written. Now, Marie, when you write that many words a day, it's easy to be able to write 50,000 words. Um, or if I feel like the book is finished, then I will go back in and add more what I call meat to the bones if I've not reached my 50,000 limit. Um, after that, um, then I send it off to my editor and the next day or even that afternoon, I will start writing the next book. So that is um, how long it takes me to write a book. It's just a few weeks. Um, and a lot of authors don't have the luxury, or writers don't have the luxury of doing that um, because they might have another job or maybe they just can't, um, you know, focus for that many um, words a day or maybe they have a different process. Um, but also between the writing sprints, I do get up and I walk around my house or I'll take a walk outside. Um, so I'm not sitting in this chair for the two to three hours, which is not healthy. Of course, I always have um, my cup of coffee 
as well as a big thing of water because we all need to stay healthy and hydrated and it just helps me, especially my coffee. So anyways, actually I have two coffee cups here today. Um, this one I've already finished it and this one I am working on. So anyways, so I hope that answered your question and I look forward to answering everybody else's question. So be sure that you look below and click the link and also make sure that you like this video if you like it um, give it a thumbs up and also hit that little bell to subscribe to my author tube channel i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys next week Bye.